seems like forever now. <laughs> I met in 2016. It was one of those things where, you know, you open a founder's like handbook as like how to run a startup. Never meet your co-founder at a networking session. Um, <laughs> So we totally did that. We were at the opening of like um, a biotech like innovation center here in Toronto. And then she straight up hands me her resume. The only thing I had on me that like had my name or phone number was my resume. I knew like, wow, this lady is prepared. We started going from there. It wasn't on our minds to, you know, co-found a company. But what happened was we started kind of doing Skype chats every now and then. And we realized, you know, the thing we care a lot um, about like global kind of healthcare access. We had this idea of um, extending shelf life of vaccines. At the beginning of the pandemic, we realized that, you know, this is an opportunity for us to accelerate, you know, closing the loop from like step one to step six. Probably our first couple of clients we talked to, um, they gave us an enormous level of trust. We don't owe them anything, but just because you know they were able to put this level of trust on us, of course we're going to help them solve all the problems. 